is a seed of Catherine Gorge. It's quite a remarkable seed with the blue skies and the green foliage and the reds of the desert. Over here I have ultramarine blue, crimson, cobalt blue, some white, burnt sienna, warm red, which is vermilion, and I have some yellow down here which we'll mix green with. We'll start with a big brush on the sky and just horizontal brush strokes, put plenty of paint on, and then the cobalt blue, very blue skies in the middle of Australia. Make sure you get your cobalt blue right up into the corner across the top of your sky. That's it, I missed a bit there. I'll go back and get it right to the very top of the corner and then backwards and forwards. And as you bring your brush down, you'll notice the sky gets whiter. We do need a white sky at the bottom. That's there, about the middle of the board. So I'll bring it up and down a few times to try and get a nice clear sky. This brush is a little bit wet. I'm using acrylic paint. You might be using oils. Do exactly the same as I'm doing if you're using oils or acrylic. I'll blend it a bit there. There's a little bit of a join there. I'll blend it a bit more. Crisscross a little bit. There. And get that brilliant blue sky. That's what we want. And a little bit more white down here. We do want it white there. Then I'll go down into the water area. I'll clean my brush down here because I know this is all water. And a bit more blue. We'll have our blue right across the bottom of the board there. So that's the blue sky and your reflections. Clean my brush. And I do want a lot of white there. So I'll put quite a bit of white in. Clean my brush again. And blend it into the blue sky. Much more blue. That's that sky blended in. And I do want white there, so I'll fade that white in there. Now for the mountains, I'll mix the ultramarine blue in with the crimson and mix them together like this. And that'll give us a purple. I'm not going for a grey now, I'll use a purple. If I wanted to turn this into a grey, I'd put raw sienna in it, but we won't do that here. Now, you'll notice that that's a red purple, that's a blue purple. For the distant mountains I pick up the blue purple. And almost in the middle we'll block in our distant mountains. Now I might as well just draw straight across like that and then those will brush and clean my brush here. Now this is ultramarine blue. Just brush them in and then their reflection will go in the water exactly the same shape in the water. That's our waterline about there. Just take them up a bit higher, they're big mountains, so let's come up real high there. And try and make sure you've got white behind them. There's a little bit of crimson in there, not much, mainly all ultramarine blue. Then for the sunlight on the mountain, we need it mix a very pale colour. Red, burnt sienna, and crimson mixed together. Let's see what we get. We want it pale, so I'll put some white in there. Very pale. It's a little bit too red. Let's go down pale again. Take it into a crimson because it is well in the distance. A little bit too bright. And because it's so far away, I'll add the littlest bit of blue. That's the ultramarine blue. That'll take it back and tone it down into the distance. And then with my knife, I'll pick it up on one edge. And start with the furthest mountain away, right at the top, and sculpture the edge of the mountain. So it needs to come down at an angle. There's the one mountain there. And as they come down, they get further apart. This one's bigger. This one's bigger again. And quite a big one here. Then a little bit on the tip of your knife again, and you can touch the tops up. Then sculpture in the bank, just a couple of lines. And do exactly the same underneath and follow each one down. Make sure you come right down. 
And then with a little bit of white on your knife, just give them a couple of little highlights here and there, not much. That's a bit much. It won't matter because it's in the water. I'm using my fan brush to bring it down into the water and clean the brush. Clean the brush again and then across and that'll give you your water reflections in the distance. That shouldn't be there. So I'll touch it up and then with one single dark line put your bank back in where it should be. That's the ultramarine and crimson mixed together there and a little bit of colour on it. And a very thin white line underneath the bank there. And a few ripples in the water, not much. If you have anything to repair, you can put a ripple over the top. Then with my round hog bristle brush, I'll pick up a bit of dark. Like that. My brush is this funny shape because I put it in the tin and it's gone to that shape, but that's okay. I put it in the cleaning tin and I went to that shape. And then we can dab just a few little trees. Just a little bit of green on top of that mountain. Very little bits. Now your whole area back there, block it in with the redder purple. And all that needs to be blocked in. This is the reflections here. The bank is there it looks like. That's it. Have a step there. The crimson and the ultramarine blue, streaks of red, streaks of blue. And then with the painting knife, pick up these three colours and keep towards the red more. Don't completely mix them. Put them up on your knife, not completely mixed. And a little bit of white in amongst them and sculpture the rocks. Make sure you get right to the very outside. Load your knife again, you need plenty of paint on there. And leave plenty of dark spots, leave dark spots here and there. And of course we need the same thing in the water, roughly. Using the big brush, bring that down. Dirty, but that's okay. Then we need a pink. Be careful, but just bring them very lightly, very lightly, on top of what looks like rocks. And now on the other side, we do the same again. This reflection's exactly the same over here. Have a flat top, it's all plateaus up there, and drop in and then they come down and another drop there, so. You can make up this as you go along, whichever shape you wish. Of course, right down into the water. And load the knife with a mixture of colours again. A bit of white. Just a little bit of white. I've got a little bit of white come off there, you see, that's okay. Sculpture on the red of the rock. And I'm going to put some bright red over the top of that. See a little bit of bright red that looks better. And do it again and the one coming in here and maybe another one. And 
That old claim a knife down here in the water. It appears to be a bit messing about there. And with a little bit of pinky red. Not too bright. Take, take the brights back. Now try to do it without rubbing up and down too much. Now, where you overcross two things like this, it's a good idea to have a little bit of bright. But don't stop it right on the top of that one. Take it well above it, bring it in, and well below it, like that. And I'll unload my knife here, and that broken line is what we want. We can put this colour on with a knife or the brush, whichever you wish. Pop it down like that, clean your brush. Put a few lights on. and look down into the water and then across and there appears to be a reflection missing there we'll put that one in too and this time I'm on a round whole bristle brush I'll load it with dark on one side light on the other side and that turns green now see a little bit of blue and the yellow will turn it green and then with my brush, with the dark on one side, light on the other, I can dab some trees, very lightly, at the top of these hills, here and there. And where your rocks, if you see there's a little bit where a tree might hang in there, put it in there, put it there, put it there, put it down the edge here. Make sure they're not all equally spaced. And turn the brush the other way. Little trees. You can just see them. And of course, we can always have a little bit in the water. Turn the brush again. up that reflection there and that bit there's too bright I'll knock him out and with the knife I'll redo the bank a little bit of pinky red on top of it and a crisp white line goes right over there. Don't stop your ripple on the edge there. And we do the same. And touch up the bangs. Dark line, white line underneath, and a few ripples. They're slightly blue, those ripples, that's okay. And for our bank, let's have a rock here. So I'm picking up all the darks and the lights, all the different colours. And I'll make a sunlight on the rock colour here. And if you wish, we can put a log here coming into the water, just laying like that. That's dark and light on the knife. And again, with dark and light on the brush, we can twiddle a little branch in there. Not too much, just a bit. And then with our fan brush, fill in the vacant spots here. A little bit of bush here and there. Just touch it on. And 
in here. Just a bit there too. And a few reeds coming up into the water like that. And with a little brush you can paint just a few little twigs on these trees. Not many, they're very little twigs because they're very little trees. They're a long way up there. You can see the white twigs on the trees. And across the other side the same. And that's our Catherine Gorge. Thank you for painting with me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope your painting went well. Remember there's many more DVDs available. All the lessons are designed for beginners. You can paint with oils or acrylics on all of my lessons. Children can paint these pictures also. Please contact me if you wish to comment or if you have any problem with the DVD or maybe there's something special you'd like me to include in my lessons. My website is worldwideweblenhend.com Well I hope to see you again. Enjoy your painting. Bye.